In this episode of Insect Lockdown Pest Profiles, we'll be taking a look at the sugarcane aphid and some management techniques that you'll need to control for them in sorghum. The first thing we'll talk about is identification, and then we'll go into greater detail on how to estimate the number of aphids on a leaf. Aphids in general are typically small insects and usually about the size of a pinhead. When you look at aphids from above, they are usually oval in shape. Aphids have thin legs and antennae which are about the length of their body. All aphids have two appendages that stick out near the end of their abdomen called cornicles. Because aphids are so small, many people get intimidated at trying to identify them. To assist in identification, a hand lens can be invaluable. Oftentimes, certain parts like the legs, cornicles, or the antennae of the aphids will blend in to a certain degree with the leaf they are found on. To get a better contrast, scooping off a few aphids and putting them on your fingernail can be very helpful. When it comes to sorghum, there are multiple aphid species that could be feeding on your plants. When identifying, only focus on the large adult aphids without wings and not the wing form as shown here. To help you remember whether you have sugarcane aphids or not, the following phrase can be helpful. Are there sugarcane aphids in your sorghum to track? Make sure to remember the fact is black. If the aphid has feet, antennae, and cornical tips that are black, then you know that you have a sugarcane aphid. Corn leaf aphids will have black feet, antennae, and cornicles but they also have a black head. It has more black areas on its body than is included in the fact that it is not a sugarcane aphid. Yellow sugarcane aphids don't have black on them at all, so if you look close enough, they should be easily distinguished. Green bug aphids have black tipped feet and antennae, but their cornicles are never black. Now you should be able to go out into your sorghum field to identify this aphid. Remember the phrase, are there sugarcane aphids in your sorghum to track? Make sure to remember, the fact is black. When trying to identify the sugarcane aphid, you should not go off of general body color alone. The adults can vary in color from lightish yellow to a darker brown, so make sure that you look for the key areas that we talked about. Once we have successfully identified the sugarcane aphid, it is essential to calculate the thread amount by determining how many are in a given field. The key areas we look for aphids are the lowest green leaf and the uppermost leaf below the flag leaf. If the flag leaf has not emerged yet, count using the top leaf that is completely unfurled. To count every single aphid in a given field is nearly impossible and would be way too time consuming. For this reason, with aphids and other insects, we make estimations. If you can successfully estimate aphid counts in the field, you will be able to make wise management decisions faster so you can devote your precious time on other tasks. In order to make a good estimate, we recommend you break it down into the following two steps. The first step is to do a ballpark estimation. Take a look at the entirety of the leaf and make an educated guess of how many are here in hundreds. This should take five seconds to do. Let's say for this leaf we estimated 100 aphids as our ballpark estimate. That is the first step. Now we take our ballpark number and divide it by 10. We will use this number to save us work and get a more clear estimate. Now scan over the leaf and estimate how many groups of 10 there are. In my mind I like to personally imagine circling groups of 10 and count each time I create one and move up the leaf like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This gives us an estimate of 80 aphids. That's just 3 off from the exact count. Let's try this again and you do the estimation yourself this time. Make a ballpark estimation. How many hundreds of aphids do you think there are here? Now that you have this number, let's take a closer look and refine our estimate. Divide your ballpark number by 10. Using this number, count how many aphid groups of that number you think are present on the leaf and add up the total.
What total did you get? What was your ballpark number? The actual total on this leaf was 35. Depending on your situation and how comfortable you are with estimating, you can choose your own numbers to use for estimation purposes. Personally, I would do a ballpark estimation of 50 for this leaf, and then count the aphids in groups of 5. Don't forget to count small juvenile aphids, which look a little different from most adults and are not always apparent. If you have a smartphone, we encourage you to take this video out in your field with you to refresh your memory and try out these techniques. Just remember when identifying the sugarcane aphid, the fact is black. And when estimating, make a ballpark estimation, then refine your estimate by counting reasonably sized groups. <laughs>